Sam, Sam, tell me, how, how did you get into this? How did you get into making these pieces? Because I think it's just <laughs> fabulous. Well, I started actually crocheting back in like, when I was like 11 or something. I'm, you know, 20 now. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing this for a long time. Um, I think it was actually my aunt who told, who, you know, she got me my first set of crochet hooks, my first couple of things of yarn, and a how-to book. Mm -hmm. so we, uh, once I got here and my friend was like, oh, you should totally go to, you know, these conventions and sell stuff. So I'm like, okay, what should I make? And it, oh, make all these different anime things. So I tried it and that's kind of how I started making the characters. Isn't that great? Now, you can make these because it falls under what and explain what that is. Oh, it's, um, it, it's a uh, fan art okay. type thing, um, meaning it, it's not, you're not trying to sell it as officially licensed merchandise. You're not trying to, you know, say, no, no, this is my completely original character. This is all mine. No, you're, what you're doing is, you, it go, it's, um, it's sufficiently different mm -hmm. such that, you know, most companies won't have a problem with it. Um, the five that are in the set, which is the Ultra Ball, Master Ball, Great Ball, Pokeball, and Safari Ball, mm -hmm. are from the very first generation of games. Okay. Being, you know, a nerd, I like these things. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is all hand crocheted. Yes. Okay. Um, you pick the colors. Yeah. I basically the colors. It's it's, it's an actual thing. So mm -hmm. it's I try and I base the uh, colors on how closely I can match the yarn. I have yeah. like I pull up like twenty different pictures on the internet and just compare. See, okay, this is you know about the color and oh I know that color of yarn. So then I, I'll go get that. Okay. And what's inside? Um, it's polyester fiber fill. It's like the same stuff that is in uh, like any mass-produced stuffed animals mm -hmm. or like pillows even, not down pillows obviously, right. yeah. but anything, the, it's the fluff stuff that right. you know. And how do you care for it? Um, if it gets dirty, do you just wipe it clean or can you throw it in the you washing can, machine? Or yeah, you can it? throw it in the washing machine. Some of the stuff that I do has like felt added to it, right. so that one you might want to hand wash it more so, but uh, with, when you throw it into the dryer afterwards, either do it on delicate or throw it through like a couple times just to make sure you get all the interior fiber fill dry. dry. This way it doesn't get moldy in there. Yeah. That is uh, Rayquaza is his name. He's one of the third generation game. He's from the third generation game. He is one of the legendary Pokemon. Mm -hmm. He is and difficult. Little feet <laughs> and, and even even little nails. Yep, he has his claws and everything. And, th and these in this case would be felt and the eyes yes. would be felt. And you said there was a reason why you chose to do that as opposed to uh, to crochet it crocheting. on, yeah. because um, with felt you can get a lot better details and a lot finer mm -hmm. with because all you need is a pair of scissors and a hot glue gun mm -hmm. as opposed to trying to get the right size yarn and trying to shape it right. And because the when you crochet stitches are going to be a certain size no matter what. However, with the felt you can cut any shape you imagine out of it. Now My Little Pony. Yes. And this one is? That is Fluttershy. She is one of the main six ponies. Yeah. Um, she is the very shy, timid one, who, thus the name Fluttershy. Mm -hmm. She kind of just goes, oh, okay, I guess, if that's really what you want. Mm -hmm. And it's just very timid and, you know, a couple of the episodes are trying to get her to be more assertive and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she's one of what is known as the main six. Okay. And the, the other one that we have here? This one is um, not actually one of the main six. This is, is actually a male pony, too. This is Brayburn. Mm -hmm. uh, he is the cousin of Applejack, who is a main pony. And ha hence the apple yes. on it. He is, he's part of the apple family, which is okay. a very, very, very large family. <laughs> Some of the other ones, like uh, there's one that are, um, one named Octavia, who plays either the bass or the cello, depending on who you talk to. Mm -hmm. I made an actual crocheted bass <sighs> that's about like this tall. Yeah. Um, and I made that for her. One of the ponies is a DJ, so he has the sunglasses and he has a little turntable. So aside from what's posted in pictures on your website, people can contact you and get something maybe a little yes. bit more specific done? They can get specific things. They can have like completely original things done. Like I actually had um, someone from I met through school gave me a hand drawing of a picture and I made a plushie of it for her. Like it's a completely just random character that she came up with. Yeah. She wanted a little plush and it's like this tall. Actually, it's like I had found a pattern for a turtle online and then my cousin was like, oh, I want a turtle that has a tail. That's why this one has, you know, the little tail here. <laughs> and this actually, the reason I started making these was because of my cousin. Like he saw the turtle and was like, oh man, I really like that. So I made him the turtle and then I made a couple, you know, just 
to bring to like craft fairs or whatever and they were ridiculously popular. Like this is one of the most, one of the things that I always have to make more of because it always sells out. Wow, see, so you never know. Now you do kitties, uh, what else do you uh, do? Penguins, I have, uh, you know, the generic kitties, I have the turtles, um, and I have actually what bears. They, oh, isn't that sweet, huh? When I had set up a booth in the campus center at my school at WPI, mm -hmm. uh, someone wanted a bear that said WPI on it. That's so uh, it, it's, you know, red and has gray uh, legs, nose, ears, and arms, and it has WPI written across the stomach. Yeah, that's, that's great. That, so that's good that the schools kind of supports a little bit of the local entrepreneur that's, yeah. that's happening, which is great. And you um, do this while you're in school. Yes, I do. And you're the only person right now who's doing the crocheting. You're a busy girl studying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's because I, I do this like just this is my stress relief. This is how I deal with the craziness of college. It's like this is how I relax and whatnot. And I do actually have a couple people who I'm teaching how to crochet, and they're helping me out. In um, Japan, Pizza Hut has a mascot. This uh -huh. is him. This is it. This is him. Um, he's also from an anime called Code Geass. Um, he's uh, one of the characters in there is, con is seen almost constantly holding one like this, just, mm -hmm. just carrying it around. Um, this is my interpretation of it. Um, like I, at one point, my friend Ray, who actually, you know, we started this together, uh, she was the one who had the book that I started getting these patterns from. Um, that's one of the ones. And then I can also actually do some with designs in them, which is basically it, you get a band like this thick. Mm -hmm. And you can actually have it say stuff. Yeah, okay. You, so you could have a name put on it. Yep, it name. Could, it could say something. It could be for a cause. Uh, yeah. It could be a design. Yep, like, that like one this one is like hearts. hearts. Yeah. Explain a little bit about that. Um, basically, I was trying to you know, expand, just get more of a product base. This way I have more variety for people. And it's, we basically we found beads, and then we found um, you know, wire that matched the beads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And they come in different colors. Yep, and, and are they all kind of like flowers or a flower um, or a bead? Well, these are, for now, let's, I, these are just like a bead and a band type mm -hmm. thing. Just very simple. These are like a flower because these I call twisted roses. Mm -hmm. I have a couple different colors. Like these are easy. You can order them in different in custom colors too. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you order them in different sizes? Yes. Uh, I, you know, have one of the, have the fancy ring sizer. So from, I believe, size 1 to size 15 I can do. And now you also do scarves? Yes, scarves. And I do, you know, warmer Weather. I have I do hats. I don't have any here, but um, like these are actually wrist warmers. They're very simple, very basic. You know, go like this, and there you oh, go. Yeah. And then this is a scarf, WPI colors because I'm WPI. <laughs> this is actually one of the scar one of the only scarves I did in the with the ribbing. Mm -hmm. That's like so it stretches out like this. Most of them I'll just do like just straight back and forth. What else is happening? Is there anything new coming up? Um. Well, I do have a couple more conventions. Like, I'm actually doing um, a science fiction convention for the first time in January. Okay, uh, and where would that be? That's in Boston. Mm -hmm. I believe in the Western uh, Weston Hotel, mm -hmm. uh, Eurasia. Um, I do Anime Boston every year. There yet, but I just figured out a pattern for the sonic screwdriver. Really? Yes. I'm slowly. I'm working on more science fictiony stuff. Like, I'm going to be making Daleks. Wow. Just before we close, you also do large blankets. Do you yes. have time? <laughs> Actually, um, the one that is up on my website, it is a six foot by eight foot uh, lacy, like patterned checker blanket between mm -hmm. a light purple and a dark purple. I completed that in a week. It was a rush order because I actually, I got it at the end of uh, term and I needed to mail it out before New Year's, or actually before Christmas, sorry. Mm -hmm. And I started and finished that blanket in a week. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on, Sam. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I am Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Have a great week.